please be with Jonathan's message and help us to all get something out of it, and please be with the worship today. Amen. If everyone will stand, turn to page 74 in the big red <laughs> book, or you can follow along on the screen behind us. We'll sing all three verses. Praise Him, praise Him, Jesus our blessed Redeemer. Sing, O earth, His wonderful love proclaim. Hail Him, hail Him, highest archangel sing glory. Strength and honor, give to His holy name. Like a shepherd, Jesus will guard His children. page 725. We'll sing all three verses. When the 
great to see you this morning. We're excited to be able to come into worship today. We're concluding our series today on how to live like a king. And so if you've missed any of that today, it's okay. This will stand alone. Uh, but we're excited to look at what, what does it really look like when we say we're going to follow Jesus. It's one of those phrases that we hear often. Uh, but what does that really look like? And, and one of the things that we're going to dive into do today is the way in which Jesus prayed. And this moment during our service, we like to open up these altars for prayer and if you have a need that's on your heart, we will invite you to come to, to kneel, to pray. If you'd like someone to pray with you, we invite you to raise your hand and, and we'll love to come and pray with you this morning. You know, as we gather, as we sing, as we proclaim the Lord and just all that he has done, we've got many things to be thankful for. Amen. And in these moments, though, we, we also realize that there's many needs that we have before us, whether it's in our own life, in our family, uh, definitely within our state, within our nation, within our world many things that we can be lifting up in prayer. And so we don't want to miss the opportunities that God's given. Uh, we don't want to take for granted this moment that he's av made available for us to come freely, to be able to kneel before him and to call upon his name. And so this morning we invite you to come and to pray. You know, as we're praying this morning, as you're thinking of things to pray about, not only do we have many in our congregation who are, are sick and who are battling with, with whatever it is that, that we're battling with, it seems, these days, but it seems to be a prevalent throughout our community. We just want to continue to be in prayer for uh, healing. And we also want to be in prayer for what God is doing. And we want, to, want you to be in prayer for the business meeting this evening, that God will give wisdom and direction as we go forward, that we can celebrate a great year, but that we don't look back, uh, but we also look forward and, and get excited about what God has in store. And I also want you to be in prayer about our uh, Connect uh, class that's coming up next week. Uh, you know, if you're new to the church or, or maybe you've been here for a while, this is a great class for anyone and everyone to be able to walk through and to really learn what is the Church of God really all about? How do I fit into this puzzle? And uh, what does God really desire from me? And, and so it's going to be four weeks of really diving into those questions and very small format so we can have time of discussion and not just time of teaching. And, and we invite you to come and be a part of that. And if you'd like to volunteer for that, there's a place to do that out in the narthex when you leave today. But I do want you to be in prayer for it because I believe that God has great things in store. And I believe it starts by really helping people understand all that he's come to do through his bride, the church. So let's sing today. If you have a need, we invite you to come and pray. And let's worship him in spirit and in truth this morning. Turn to page 612, sing the first verse.
pray with me this morning. Heavenly Father, as we come before you today, I, I pray that we could all sing that song honestly. Lord, that it, it truly is well with our soul. And Lord, if there's anyone here that that does not ring true, Lord, that those words don't describe the state in which they are this morning. I'm so thankful that we come to one who knows us exactly the way that we are. Lord, you saw us when we woke up. You saw us as we were on our way this morning. Lord, you know Lord, that what lies behind the mask that oftentimes we feel so tempted to put up. And God, that there's a peace with you. There's an assurance with you that we find no other place, that it truly can be well with our soul, with our entire being, God, our heart, our soul, our mind, our strength. God, that it can be well in relationship with you. And so, Lord, that if there's anyone here that's struggling this morning, I pray that you would bring a peace and let your spirit fall afresh and new. That we would realize what you came to do and what you came to bring. Lord, life and life abundantly. Lord, that it's possible today, not in some day to come, but right now, today, through the powerful name of Jesus Christ. God, I pray that as we gather this morning, Lord, that you would be at work, not only here in these four walls, and Lord, we have so many needs represented here. Lord, those who have or been battling with sickness, God, even those here today serving, Lord, that are battling and, and they're doing their best. And God, we pray for strength, for endurance. God, we pray for those that have undergone surgery recently. Lord, we think of Greg Kreider, Lord, his knee replacement surgery. We pray for a continued healing upon his body, Lord, that you would give him strength and endurance. Lord, we pray for those that are awaiting test results, Lord, all of those things that are coming up. And Lord, that you would give us the, the comfort, Lord, give us the peace that passes all understanding, to know that you're in control and that we have nothing to fear because of whose hands we are in. God, we pray for our community today, for our churches in our community. and Lord, we just ask that you would do great things. Lord, as we've been studying, Lord, how to be more like you, how to live more like you. God, would you make that real to us today? Lord, we haven't come here simply for information. God, we've come desiring transformation in our life. And so, Lord, would you speak through your word this morning? Would you speak through your church? And, Lord, let us leave differently than we walked in. God, we thank you. We praise you because you desire to show us more and more of who you are. You desire for us to experience more and more of your love, of your joy, of your peace. So it's available today. The question is, will we receive it? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Church, I want to invite you to be seated this morning. As our ushers are coming forward today, we want to work, continue to worship through a time of giving. And if you're new with us this morning, if you're visiting for the first time, there's a connection card in your bulletin. We would love to get to know you better, and you can fill that out and drop it in the offering plate as it goes by. Or if you have a prayer request that needs to be updated or something that you would like us to be praying for, you can fill that out and drop it in the offering plate as well. David, would you mind saying a blessing over our offering this morning? <clears throat> 